Is this finally a game changer in the world of smartwatches? Redmi Watch 4 seems to tick all the boxes being the perfect one for less than $100, but is it? Let's inspect! This is what I feel is going to make a lot of current smartwatches sort of redundant because of the, well, pretty awesome display as you can see it, the excellent health and sports tracking features and the pretty decent smartphone app. And great to meet you on the channel, my name is Michael, the Tech Mishka. Over here we expect a lot of cool and interesting tech and I guess we're in for a thorough review of the Redmi Watch Generation 4, something that has been on my wrist for more than two weeks already. Unsurprisingly, Redmi released two versions of the watch, a Chinese edition as well as a global version, both sharing the same hardware but having certain differences about the software. If you ever get to buy the Chinese edition, you're going to be able to use most of the features, there are going to be a few extra apps, usable in China only, and the NFC inside won't work internationally. Price is around $90, a bit more than the CMF watch, but kind of less than similarly designed devices by Amazfit and Huawei, not to mention famous true smartwatches such as Apple Watch and Galaxy Watch series. Unboxing experience is better than expected. Looks like Redmi used the same kind of packing for both versions and it is all down to the stamp at the back. I've used the Chinese edition over here. The strap is very different to what I expected. It's proprietary but removable, feels very solid and although it's locking via a button as opposed to a buckle, it is reliable enough. Most of the sensors are on the back and this here is the advanced health tracker used for the first time with the series, a Pogo pin charger, the same as the cable used for Mi Band and Redmi Band series lately, and the size appears to be large. On the side, this is a multifunctional crown button. The frame is made of aluminium alloy and so far it's easy to say that in terms of design and construction, Redmi Watch 4 is as good as some devices that are 2, 3, even 4 times more expensive. If you care about specifications, there's the ultra-large 1.97-inch AMOLED display, a fairly large 470mAh battery, advanced positioning system including GPS, advanced health tracking sensors, a speaker, a microphone, the watch is 5ATM water-resistant and, unsurprisingly, in terms of software, powered by, you guessed it right, HyperOS. You're mostly going to hear good things about the specifications. Some of them are actually great. Uh, the display, pretty awesome. It's one of the largest in the industry. And it's AMOLED technology, to be precise, LTPO, which is very similar to what Apple are deploying with their Apple Watch series. However, the brightness is not as high, but at 600 nits maximum brightness, I think that's more than enough even on a bright day. The best part of this AMOLED screen is the fact that it has a default refresh rate of 60 Hz and this can go down to 5 Hz, which is extremely positively impacting the battery life with always on display. And it was comfortably lasting me more than a week per charge with AOD during most of the day, which is pretty fantastic. Without always on display, the battery life is going to be at least two, maybe sometimes three weeks, depending on the kind of usage. As for features that are not present in terms of hardware and possibly you kind of may miss, well, there is no barometer, there is no NFC for contactless payments, and there is just BLE implementation, meaning that via Bluetooth you can't connect any external headphones or chest mount fitness tracker, which could be positive for the health tracking and sports tracking. Speaking of which, Redmi are making a big deal about the newly implemented sensors, and uh, I think we can explore more about that together with the user interface. This interface is almost the same as what Xiaomi Watch series share. Animations are super smooth and pleasing. There are moments where the watch is a lot smoother even than some of the best Wear OS smartwatches out there. It's not that smart, of course. Swipe down and here are the notifications. I hope to soon see an option to respond to this because most fitness trackers already have mastered this kind of skill. Missing here with the current version of the software. Swipe up for the quick toggles. Left or right movements will reveal these beautifully designed cards which you can further customize via the Mi Fitness smartphone app. When you press the crown, you're gonna open the apps list. A longer press of the button opens the power menu. 
Considering the available apps, you can organize them via Mi Fitness as well. And there are two ways the launcher is going to show them as a list or see if icons similar to... You can guess it already. Having a huge amount of tracked workouts is not unusual these days, so you have quite a choice over here. These performed outdoors are gonna be tracked via GPS. This is a good moment to say that it's been among the few smartwatches with stellar GPS performance, despite the usually cloudy weather lately. Excellent signal reception and fairly accurate at the same time. There are a bunch of running classes, some training details, vitality scores, a bunch of stats. All of this comes for free. Looking at you, Amazfit. The heart rate data is also well visible, so is the sleep tracking. However, sometimes when I'm on my desk, it can detect this time as if I'm sleeping. And I promise I'm not. Also, you can make Bluetooth-related phone calls, crystal clear speaker performance, and there are a bunch of productivity apps. Calendar access is present, you can sync with various events. If two years ago this was missing from RTOS-based smartwatches, it nowadays is no longer an excuse not to go for a wristwatch with really long battery life. Settings are getting there, a bunch of these, and all of them are quite well grouped. You can switch between different watch faces, or adjust the screen brightness, or enable always on display, or change some of the other watch settings. Everything collected in terms of health tracking and sports can be viewed from within the smartphone app. Me, fitness, which is getting better and better, make sure to be at the latest version in order to get all the new features. There's a new simplified look, and you may historically verify the heart rate tracking, all the SpO2 collected data, or get to know better about your sleeping habits and performance. The longer you wear the watch, the more detailed all these data is going to be, and the more accurate the recommendations and the analysis are going to be. Very interactive graphs about workouts are present as well. You're gonna like a lot the depth of data, and even more the fact that Mi Fitness has integration for Strava, and believe it or not, even for Apple Health. Take a look at this big list with nice-looking watch faces. If we exclude the two colorful and animated ones, there are some of them which come in style, some are even customizable. You can define favorite contacts for phone calls, you can enable integration of third-party services and apps, Mi Fitness pretty much covers everything needed for effective communication and fitness improvements in 2024. Well, there are, of course, certain glitches or suboptimal integrations, such as the applet that lets you cherry-pick the apps to show notification on the watch, because there is no filter option and you may have to scroll all the way down just to enable these from WhatsApp, for instance. Since we already are talking about the drawbacks, there is no way to install extra apps unless Redmi decide to push such as a firmware update. There's no barometer, no altimeter, no way to make contactless payments, no option to respond to notifications at the time I recall this video, and sometimes I accidentally press the main button when I bend my wrist, which even triggers the power menu occasionally. So, to the question from the start, whether this is the perfect $700 smartwatch of 2024, and, and I would say I think it clearly is. Yes, despite this issue where I can easily press the button with my wrist, and it very much depends on your wrist size and possibly on the way you wear it. I figured that to me the only way to entirely eliminate it is to have the watch on my right hand, which is not very convenient in most cases. But if you don't have that issue, it's almost perfect. Fantastic display, insanely good battery life, very accurate health and sports tracking, and a very decent smartphone app which I believe is going to guarantee you a lot better experience as compared to other similar devices such as the CMF Watch Pro or last year's Redmi Watch Generation 3 or any of the Amazfit devices which cost two or three times more as we speak. So that's my take on the Redmi Watch 4. If you wonder whether you should get it, I think so. Yeah, you should give it a try. Thank you very much for watching this review. I guess you have a question or you want to share your experience or thoughts. The comments are in the right place to do it. If you want to buy the watch or find a way to support my work here on the channel and thank you in advance for that, check the video description area. Thanks for watching, enjoy your day, live a healthy life, and I guess I'll see you soon. Bye!